<laughs> Thank you, ZZ. You cooking in the kitchen with Granny. All right, guys, let's eat. All right, let's prep our salmon steaks. I'm uh, going to let them marinate for about an hour, and then we'll get to working on our pasta sauce. But I have some ginger. I've already cut some off of that ginger root. Here it is. I have five cloves of garlic. No, about six cloves. They're not too big. Make sure you guys can see everything. So I'm just going to um, chop this up here. What can you all see? So I'm going to chop this. Just cut this ginger up. And like I say, the um, salmon steaks are going to marinate in this Ziploc bag, in this ginger and garlic, a little brown sugar, going to put a little seasoning on them. Nothing with salt in it because the um, soy sauce has salt in it. So we don't want it to be too salty. Okay, go ahead and put this in the bag. Going to drop it in the bag then. It's been a while since I've actually did a full demonstration of cooking for you guys. Okay, so I have that. Now what we're going to do is put some seasoning on the uh, salmon. Not much, a little basil. I've cleaned them off, cut the, um, clean the back part of it off so it'll just be steaks. When you eat it, you'll be able to eat pretty much all of it. A little onion powder and garlic powder. Okay, just season them up. Parsley, of course. A little oregano. And some black pepper. Rub that in there. I'm going to put a little bit on the back part as well. Okay, so the same seasonings on the back. And then red, and this is optional red pepper flakes, but I want it to be a little spicy. Not spicy, I just want it to have a little kick to it. But I didn't put anything on this that has salt in it. So now I'm going to put this in the Ziploc bag. Okay, move this up there. And some soy sauce here. Put the remainder of that soy sauce in there. Okay. Forgot to buy some more, so I don't have that much, but you don't need a lot of soy sauce. Okay, put the remainder of that in there. Let me get my brown sugar. Spoon of brown sugar in here. Two spoons. Okay, let's see what we're looking like here. I'm gonna close it up. that around so you don't need much because soy sauce is kind of salty and salty. I'm going to put a little bit of this teriyaki marinade on it but I'm not going to do that. I think I have enough. That's all I need. Okay so I'm going to let this put this in the fridge and let it marinate for about an hour and get things prepped up for my sauce for our uh, our butter sauce for the fettuccine. So grilled salmon steaks with a uh, with fettuccine and a butter sauce. Bring you guys back in a minute. Okay, the salmon has been marinating for about an hour. I've melted a tablespoon of butter. So I'm going to put the salmon steaks in here. And then I'm going to let them bake. I'm not gonna cook them on top of the stove. I'm going to let them actually bake. until they get nice and caramelized. Pour the rest of that sauce in there with all that garlic. Okay. All right, you see that? Now we're gonna let this bake in the oven. Won't take long. That brown sugar is gonna help it caramelize. 
and I will bring you guys back and then we're gonna start on our butter pasta sauce garlic butter pasta sauce all right let's prep for the sauce so I have about nine sticks of uh, well cloves of garlic it's gonna chop these up real fine all right this is going to be a garlicky sauce let's put this in here The um, salmon steaks will be baking at 350. Okay, and we have six sticks of, well, not six sticks, six tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then I'm going to use this fettuccine. It'll only need to boil in hot water for about two to three minutes because it's pretty much done. This is homemade pasta. A fourth a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. All right, and then I'll add a little black pepper to it and some uh, parsley, maybe some onion powder and garlic powder. Okay, let's get this butter melted. All right, guys, the salmon is done nice and caramelized. Okay, let's make our pasta sauce. All right, guys, the butter has melted. That's six tablespoons. Now I'm going to put the garlic in here and let it cook for about a minute or two, but you don't want it to get brown. You just want it to season your butter so your sauce will taste like garlic. Because this is a butter garlic sauce. What I am going to do, add just a little bit of garlic powder to it. Not garlic powder, onion powder. A little parsley. And some black pepper. And the water is almost ready for the pasta, which won't take but a few minutes. And we can eat. I'm gonna cut this off and remove it and I'll bring you guys back in a little All bit. All right, this is the pasta. It's done. Just a quick garlic butter pasta, that's all. All right, let's plate this up and eat. What's up, guys? Your girl's back with another video. Okay, let's bless this food. Bless this food that I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. Amen. What's going on? How y'all doing? Hump day. Okay. Y'all saw how I prepared this quick, simple, and easy meal. Look at that. That's the way you want your salmon to look, okay? Y'all, it tastes really, really good. I hit my fork over here. And this pasta was easy, a quick butter sauce. Um, six tablespoons of butter, and I used about nine cloves of garlic. It's a garlic butter sauce. Melt the butter, let the garlic pretty much just season the butter for about two minutes. Take it off, you don't want it to burn. Boil your pasta, the kind that I bought, it was pretty much done for about two minutes. Drain the pasta, put it in the sauce, stir it up and plate it up, and there you have it. And this, is a, this isn't a really fattening meal, you know? Something you could enjoy. Okay, let's see what this tastes like. You know, this salmon, that ginger and garlic and brown sugar and that, that little soy sauce, mm, mm, mm. Then I seasoned it a little bit with some onion powder, garlic powder, red pepper flakes. Let's see here. Mm, mm, mm. mm. Oh my goodness. And it's not too sweet. Mm -mm. Have a bite. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. I don't think I'm going to actually put the lime on it. I just wanted the lime on here to look pretty. I'm not going to squirt the lime on it. Look at this flake. Look at that. It's cooked just right. It's not dry. Mmm. I'm wasting it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So how was you all's day at work? If you work today? They predicted snow, but I don't think that's going to happen. There you go. That's a nice bite. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This pasta is good too. I can taste the um, garlic 
and that butter and the parsley just makes it look really pretty. Look at that. You guys should try this. You will enjoy this meal. Like I say, quick and easy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this salmon. I don't want to drop it. That has the garlic and that um. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I forgot the garlic and the ginger on it. I was ready to eat. And it is delicious. I let the salmon marinate in that little mixture for about an hour. I, after I got it together, I put it in the fridge. Let it marinate for about an hour. And then I baked it for about 15 minutes. Didn't take long. I used the sauce that I marinated it in. I poured that in the skillet as well, and then it caramelized. Mm hmm An easy dish. And ginger, it has like a fresh flavor to it. It's a different flavor, but I like it. Everyone may not like ginger. Mm. But it's good to me. Mm. So guys, I have 1,400 subscribers now, plus. Thank you all so much. Is this your first time stopping by my channel? You gotta go ahead and get it in. Come on, like, comment, subscribe. Press that red subscribe button, okay? Make sure you share this video. Let everyone see what we're doing over here. They will not be disappointed. Trust me. Mm, mm, mm. I just got to show y'all this. Look at that. This is delicious. Mm -hmm. You know, not everyone likes salmon. Do you all like salmon? You know, if you don't, if you try cooking it this way, it doesn't have a fishy taste or anything. That brown sugar and that soy sauce and ginger and garlic took all of that away. It's like a, a steak. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm. Now it really does taste good. And this quick and easy pasta, delicious. Let me show you. Look at that. See that? Mm. still moist and juicy. It is not dry. If you want to cook you a light meal, you know, I know the pasta but and the butter, but anyway. <laughs> mm. But um, about this salmon at Kroger's, and they'll prep it for you for free, meaning they'll clean it, pull all the little, uh, I guess you could call them, bones out and they cut the back part off for me so it's just like a steak you can eat both of well all of it they cut that back part off i guess that would be the scale or the skin or whatever you want to call it excellent look at that looks like a nice piece of turkey or something mm -hmm -hmm. i'm dropping it let me know if you guys like salmon and if you're going to try this recipe. You do what I did, you will not be disappointed. No, you won't. Mm -hmm. A nice, quick, easy meal on hump day. My son loves salmon too. He likes it this way. All right, guys, this was a quick and easy meal and I am already full. Thank you guys for joining me. 
You know what I always say, you never know what I'll be cooking, who I'll have in the kitchen with me, where I'll be. But one thing you can always count on, you're always welcome in Philly Phil's Kitchen. Good night. This was really good, guys. One more bite before I go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. See y'all later.